Hello, spooktacular listeners. It's your host, Paul, from the Stories Philippines podcast, bringing you yet another eerie account straight from one of our listeners. We've transported our tale to Karkar, and we've given a new name to everyone involved to protect their privacy. When I was about 13 years old, my auntie Lourdes invited me to live with her and continue my studies in her hometown. The moment I stepped inside her house, I could feel something heavy in the air, a presence of sorts, but I just shrugged it off. Everywhere I went, I sensed something strange, like someone or something was watching me. Even when I was washing dishes, I could feel eyes on my back, or I'd catch a glimpse of a shadow standing next to me. But oddly enough, I wasn't scared, maybe because I had gotten used to it. One afternoon after school, I came home to find the house empty. I walked straight to my room, but as I opened the door, I got the shock of my life. There was a girl, about my height, with shoulder-length hair, standing in profile, wearing my school uniform. Surprised, I quickly closed the door, then opened it again, but this time, the girl had vanished. I decided not to dwell on it and went to my room. Glancing out the window, I saw an elderly woman in Auntie Lourdes's garden. I stared hard, thinking my eyes were playing tricks on me, but she was really there. I shared all these experiences with Auntie Lourdes. She wasn't scared at all. She suggested that I might be seeing her children who had passed away since there was another figure, a tall woman with long hair dressed in an all-white gown, standing by the stairs. I wasn't afraid because they never seemed to mean any harm. That's just a snippet of my experiences in that house. Let me know if you want to hear more. Sorry if I'm not the best storyteller. Listeners, if there's anything to take away from this chilling yet strangely comforting story, it's that sometimes those who have left us might just be lingering to watch over us, ensuring we're okay. Don't let fear take over. Not all unseen presences are there to scare us. Some are just peaceful watchers. This has been The Unseen Playmates, A Tale from Karkar. Thank you for listening. Always keep an open mind. And remember, the next time you feel a gaze or see a shadow, maybe it's just a silent guardian saying hello. Until the next eerie tale, keep listening and never stop wondering about the mysteries around us.